What's going on, gamers? My name is Dequarius Beverly, your host here at Game Fanatics, giving you guys all gaming news. And today's topic of discussion, we're talking about a press release announcement that was released by popular major retailer Walmart has reportedly announced that they are going to be discontinuing physical games in 2024. Specifically, they reported that they're going to be getting rid of Xbox games next year which actually does not surprise me at all just because of the fact Xbox has been pushing their subscription model for gamers to be able to purchase their Xbox gaming pass and being able to purchase their subscription has definitely been a really big push due to the fact they have been purchasing studio major gaming studios to be able to release their games on the subscription model and push more sales for the long term for their consoles for gamers to be able to adapt to the subscription based model being at the fact that you can get a lot of the games on uh, first day on the game pass is definitely um, a very really big benefit with having that subscription model because of the fact that you do get a lot of the day one purchases on that game pass now it is also conflicting because for those of us that are collectors that just likes to see our collection on display this is definitely somewhat of a conflicting news because again having physical data still gives us a sense of control because we do have the accessibility to be able to resell our games trade them to our friends and just being able to have the accessibility of being able to see our saga collection on display i know for me personally i'm a big fan of the final fantasy series so being able to see all of my games on display um, it's just a great touch to just be able to show that I've actually have been a pioneer of this series for so long But also too, being able to have access to digital media is a little bit of convenience as well Because of the fact you don't have to carry all of your games or having to worry about it being Damaged or lost or stolen or whatever situations that can happen with having physical data uh, media games This is definitely again a conflicting situation based on the type of gamer now, another issue that I will announce this is that, you know, with physical media, even with having physical media, in some cases, you can't even pick up the game of the day of launch. Now, nine times out of ten, you have to wait the next following day, whereas with digital media, you can get the game a little bit earlier, sometimes even as early as five o'clock based upon the release of the game and so on where you're located at anyway. And so this is, again... You know, kind of a conflicting matter just based on the type of gamer you are. But for anyone that's used to buying games on PC, I mean, it really is no deal breaker either way. Because just in the last decade, most games have only been on digital um, purchase anyway. But again, this is also something that I am kind of in a conflict with. Because being that most digital games is the same price as a physical media, if I'm going to purchase a physical uh, purchase a game, you know, and especially if it's going to be digitally, I would have hoped to have it at a discount. I know it even with PC games in some cases, there are websites you can get the game, um, digital game purchase at day one at a discount at some websites and stuff like that. But, you know, just having a digital game and not really having any sense of ownership for it, it definitely does give a concerning matter just for the sake of the fact that you have issues with, you know, possibly the game no longer being available in the marketplace or you know the servers crashing you can't get access to your games and this actually has happened to me um, in real time this actually happened when I was on the Xbox 360 um, I, I can actually name it exactly the game uh, which was um, the Ninja Turtles reshell that was the remaster remake um, and then also the X-Men arcade game which was actually uh, was on the Xbox marketplace and then they no longer was a they no longer sold the game anymore and I so happily I didn't have access to that email anymore where I actually did purchase those games on and so not only did I lose um, access to the games that I had already purchased but they were no longer available for the marketplace for me to purchase and this has actually happened on you know media you know on server media marketplaces for games where you had access to be able to purchase a game and then it's no longer available in the marketplace so this is again you know a concerning matter for the digital gamer for those types of situations it has happened to me but again you know with conveniences of having your games in a one spot location on the you know hard drive it definitely gives a sense of convenience of the fact that you can just pretty much install the game download it and have it ready to play as early as five o'clock in some cases based upon where you live 
Now, with physical media, you know, I haven't bought a game midnight release since Kingdom Hearts 3. And, you know, just to kind of think about that, it's several years ago when Kingdom Hearts 3 first came out. And I don't even think it's been a recent time that GameStop have even done a midnight release. I remember doing midnight releases back when I used to work for them. And they haven't done them anymore just because now with gaming being the way that it is, um, you know, it is definitely you know, a concerning matter where most people aren't able to get physically physical games on the same day or as early as someone who may purchase it, you know, digitally. So this, again, it just kind of depends on the gamer per se, but it is definitely a concerning matter just because this is kind of the future of the push of digital gaming being kind of more of a convenience matter. And because of the fact that, again, you're not really having that sense of ownership it can definitely be a conflicting matter based on the type of gamer. Now, Xbox has definitely made plans to make their consoles all digital. I know that they just announced that they're going to be releasing the new Xbox Series X, which is going to be a fully all digital system with a higher um, specs, but also a higher hard drive. So that is pretty good that the fact that they are doing that. But again, you know, it's still that sense of ownership of the based on the collector to be able to see their games. And again, again, it just kind of depends on the type of person you are. I personally like the pleasure of having both because, again, you know, there's some games that I don't care to purchase right away that I know it's going to be on sale in a couple of months. And usually, typically, with digital games on sale, you may find sometimes that games that are digitally on sale are usually a lot better than the games that are physically on sale. So it kind of is good to kind of have the best of both worlds. But because Xbox has really been pushing their systems for an all-digital platform, I definitely does it definitely does not surprise me why you know you know Walmart and major retailers are really not going to be pushing um, their console games on the system on, on the shelves anymore just because you know they're really pushing the Xbox subscription model for consumers to be able to play games on their consoles now like I said for people that have PC this probably won't even be a big deal for you you know for anyone that has a console you probably just buy games exclusively for the exclusives that itself um, Xbox now with you being able to play subscription play the brand new games on PC as well as um, on cloud and other mobile devices it definitely isn't you know again may not be a big issue but for for those of us that like collections you know this can be a matter of you know you know inconvenience and having the non-convenience of not having that ownership type of feeling when it comes to playing and having your game so i definitely want to hear your guys thoughts about this um best buy has even announced as well that they're going to be stopping di um physical media as well they did announce that they're not going to be um, selling um, movies as far as dvds and blu-rays and their shelves going starting in 2024 so it's definitely looking to be the start of you know a new trend setting of how we're going to be consuming our our your entertainment you know and again this does not surprise me at all just because we have subscription models as well from different you know movie services that we can be able to stream our movies from and now with the gaming industry being as it is you know it's becoming a much more popular way just on how we consume entertainment as a whole so again Tell me in the comments below what you guys thinking about this. Are you surprised about this? Does this affect you at all? Again, I definitely want to chat about it and talk about it in the comments below. And again, this is your host, Aquarius Beverly, here at Game Fanatics, giving you guys all gaming news. And again, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you can do me the favor, just like and subscribe. That would definitely help the channel, and I highly appreciate that. And as well, check out my other video as I talked about microsoft actually buying out activision and blizzard and again my other related videos as i share you guys content on gaming news again thank you for watching and i'll see you guys very soon in the next one